Welcome back. You're still watching In The Game. And now we've got a special guest in the house for you today. Now, remember that um, you have to engage the hashtag, hashtag In The Game, for you to join in the conversation, ask your questions, and also comment. Let's feel your feedback. So in continuation of the show, we will be introducing one beautiful table tennis player from Nigeria. The year 2015 was a very good one for Nigerian table tennis. Now, the West African nation, they boasted of um, top talent and shape of Aruno Kwadri, Shegun Toriola, Olufunke, Oshunake, all taking their games to a new level. There was also a teenager at that time. He's no more a teenager. He was a teenage phenomenon at that time by the name Olajide Omotayo, who is the latest product from Nigeria's um, course, um, career, the belt of um, table tennis in Nigeria, table sweet table tennis talent. Omotayo grew up watching his siblings play table tennis. His first effort was with his family on his dining table against his sister with a broomstick, seven as a net for them, between them. Now the youngster, no more a youngster, he is now, I <laughs> would say, he's a god of tennis right now. He's thrilled, he thrilled Nigerians, of course, uh, in Lagos at the Molade Okoya Thomas Hall, playing table tennis, doing wonderfully well, and coming from Shomolu. Ladies and gentlemen, watching us right now, of course, um, we've got in the house, Olajide Omotayo. I call him Omoyami. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice me. to have you on the show today. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. Pleasure to have you. We're also very glad that you could make it live in the studio. It's great yeah. to see that we're talking about you, yeah? Talking about what you've done in the world of tennis, how you were a teenager before, but now, you don't grow old now. Yeah, it's, it's a normal <laughs> thing, you know. John Goodall mature, as they would yeah. say. But yeah. we would like to know, um, the truth is, you, you, there's always a story behind the glory and all, and Nigeria is just coming up um, hosting the WTT contender in Lagos. So let's get to meet you. Let people know where Olajide Omotayo is from, because wherever you're from, they want to say this is Omoyami, of course. Okay, I, I, I was born and raised in Shomolu, and uh, I went to... Pedro Primary School. I also went to Morocco Comprehensive High School and I went to Baptist mm. Senior High School. And all my life I, I, I lived in Shomolu and uh, I was opportune to leave Nigeria at the age of 18. And thanks to Mr. Luciano Esposito, who lives in Italy. And uh, ever since 2013, I've moved to Europe. And yeah, yeah, I am today still playing table tennis. And table tennis is paying off for you. Yeah. So, what, what some state in Nigeria is um, Olajide or Motayo from? My, my dad is from Ogun State, so I'll say I'm also from Ogun State, but I was born and bred in Lagos. In Lagos, so, so I'm, I'm a city boy. Lagos boy. All right, to think that um, we're just coming from the WTT contender, as I did say, hosted by Lagos. Lagos hosted the world. The WTT contender, of course, is like a World Cup. We are talking about a World Cup, and that's where Lagos hosted. It was hosted by an African country, Lagos, Nigeria. Jide. Before now, I would say over six years ago, there was a time you thought of quitting table tennis. When I read that story, I was, I had to go, why? Out of every other sport, why quit table tennis? Why? What happened at that period? You know, it was a frustrating moment for me. And uh, that was when I came to Nigeria to play a qualification trial to be in the team going for the All-African Games, which I thought I was ready and... Uh, and luckily for me, it wasn't my time. And I cannot forget, you had the opportunity to play with the likes of Aruno Quadri, and that was where you also announced yourself. I saw yeah. you in Lagos when you played against um, Egypt's Omar Asan. I was like, okay, this yeah. is the new god of table tennis. So I still go back to that question. What made you say, I want to quit? Is it that you don't like um, defeats? No, I, lo I love defeat, but sometimes when you don't you know, get the support, you feel you deserve the welfare, you feel you deserve. You just be like, am I wasting my time? Mm. Because table tennis, like, we, we don't really get paid like the football players. So I really want to know what I'm doing with my time. And, uh, you know, thinking about all the, all the scenario that was happening back then, I was so discouraged, you know. And uh, my dad was the one who pushed me, who said, okay, just go back to Europe and give yourself three years and just enjoy yourself. And knowing that, at certain age, you're gonna quit and do something else, you know. So I'm still happy that I'm still here, mm. but it's still the same drama every time. The welfare is very poor, you know. There's no 
there's no financing, there's nothing, and now it's even the Olympic time, and uh, we are not even. I have to pay for myself to come play in Nigeria while my own country is hosting. You know, it's something that is very bitter, and I hope one day this is going to end. You know? Okay, um, you've just brought something to the fore right now for welfare. At the WTT contender, we saw a lot of Chinese and South Koreans are taking the day from the semi-final, from the round of 16, every single African out already. And we had South Koreans, Chinese, only a German player, Dimitri was uh, um, in the finals. And we know that China must be doing something different away from other countries. You just mentioned welfare. You were at the WTT contender. I saw you alone there. I had a conversation with you there. And now you're saying you had to pay your own ticket down here. What is the Nigerian Table Tennis um, Federation doing about this? They did nothing. They did zero concerning this tournament that I came for. And all those players that you're seeing here, they've played almost all the WTT on the calendar. And it's not easy for you to go to one WTT in one year and you want God to create a miracle. Mm. The matches that we are playing now in WTT is best of five, which, which means you have to win three sets. It's a very fast uh, game now that you need a lot of matches to be ready to win a lot of matches. And if you're not playing a lot, thank God that I, I, I'm based in France, mm. so I play league matches. So for the past two years now, I'm getting better and, you know, getting better and I'm ready to, to take back whatever that is mine in the world of table tennis. But look at other players that are living in Nigeria. The welfare is so bad. If, you know, you came there, you saw me with, sitting down with Tosi, Oniba, Amishi and uh, Ajoke. They were, they were complaining that they, they couldn't even go to the, the dining hall to eat, you know. We are all in tournament. They say charity begins at home, but what is happening to us? Mm. You know, what is happening? We need to change. This is the right time. You have to respect your own players, you have to treat them right. You know, we just, we, we, we go on social media, we show that we are hosting, hosting, hosting. But what about what is happening in Nigeria? What about the all that we are practicing? Mm. I cannot even practice at national stadium where wow. all the national players had to practice. I had to go to country club, Ikeja, yesterday to go practice because of the environment and everything. You know, it's, we need to improve in so many things, really. Have you, have, you, have you players, because I know, if you talk about who has been supportive a long time, I would mention Aruno Quadri doing well. And I know table tennis is a lone sport, as they say. It's not a team of 11 like football. You have to play alone. What you can do is play with someone else, and that's the mixed or the doubles, the men or women doubles. Now, have you guys, do you have a, 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 a spokesperson? Do you have where you table this matter? You err your mind about the welfare. Do you have it on the Nigerian Table Tennis Federation? We don't have it. Like you said, Aruna is uh, the flag bearer of the table tennis, in, not only in Nigeria, in Africa. And I think it should be the one doing this. Okay. But sometimes some people, you know, we have different uh, character. Some people are not outspoken. Like some people don't want to be in the, you know, out there. They don't want to put themselves out there based on whatever they feel like, you know, personal interest. But for, as for me, I, I've reached a point whereby I think, why can't I use my voice? Like, if something is not going right, I have to let everybody know. We don't know who is watching this show now. It might be Alinko Dangote, it might be the Hotel Dollars or the Adelikos, you know. We need help. And Nigeria Table Tennis has done a lot in the sport. We have Aaron Okori, who was top 10 in the world, you know. No, not, not one endorsement deal from any big companies in Nigeria. At least if Aruna could get something, mm. we the ones coming up will be like, okay, we have a, a bright future ahead of us. Mm. If also we can put in the work and get a certain, certain uh, position in the world of mm. table tennis. So I think Nigerian table tennis, we need the help and also the federation, they need to do more. Okay, you know? if you were to be part of those who make the big decisions about um, turning this around, what are the things you put in place? I'd like to know because someone will hear you today. Uh, I feel like, okay, for the fact that you're in the, you're in the national team, every player deserves to have his or her own calendar, knowing that, okay, in the year 2023, I'm going to play 18 WTTs, you know? Like this, you're building the player, and now it's all about playing WTTs. Now my ranking dropped okay. because I stopped playing. Like, and now it's the Olympic season. And now. Um, Dino Meshref, Omar Essa, and I would say Hannah Goddard. That's Dino Meshref and Hannah Goder made it to the round of 16 yeah. in this WTT in Lagos. That means there's something Egypt is doing. If we talk about an African side that is doing well of in table tennis, there's something Egypt is doing different from other African countries. What are those things, what are those things you've noticed about Egypt okay. in table tennis? If you look at the shirt they play with, you will see Egypt hair. They travel where, wherever they want for free. Egypt hair provides, you know, wherever they need to go. In Egypt, they have standard 
high performance uh, training centers. They have league going on there. Even Europeans go there to play league. Aruna goes there to play league for some clubs during some, some periods of the year. You understand? So they are doing the right thing. And in this life, you, if you don't put in the work and you're expecting, you know, achievement, it's, it's nothing. It's like you pouring water in, inside a, an empty basket and thinking that, okay, this basket is going to, you know, form mm. an ocean or form a sea, you know. Mm. So we are not doing the right thing. We are not. Okay, um, time not at friend. We are pressed for time. But I know that um, we'll still have to talk to you one-on-one -on -one and have an exclusive here. But I would like to know, um, the Olympic is coming up and also Commonwealth. So what are your targets in a few seconds? Uh, my target is I won the last uh, All-African Games and that will come before the Olympics. And also this September we have African Championships. Yes. And this is going to, pay, to play a big role in my, in my ranking. And I'm, I'm, I'm in a good state of mind now. Mentally, I'm, I'm, I'm better than the Omotar. So not minding everyone. what the Federation no, is doing? No, now I'm just like minding my own business. But at the same time, if I have the chance, why not? I'm going to like help the, the upcoming ones. And you know, you need to speak up. We have like new generations coming in into the, into the, into the game. And all I can do is just you know, speak out. And we don't know who is watching. That said, you don't know who's watching. I'm sure a lot are watching right now in the game on your Central TV. And, of course, in the house, you can see with me is um, Olajide Omotayo, a Nigerian table tennis star who is doing wonderfully well. And he's here to talk about um, some salient issues. He's got a lot to say. So you must keep a tab on in the game because we've got um, um, to have a one-on-one -on -one with him. And there he would have to speak more. I hope you are engaging the hashtag in the game. Time on our friend. Now we have to call it a wrap on the show. But remember... You can get more on our website. You can get more on our social media platforms at New Central TV. And um, also, engage the hashtag. you get more questions about Olajide Omotayo. I am Oinye Chiyobaro. Thank you so much for being there.